Hi, and thanks for joining us on 2K Sports NBA Action. It's coming up, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry and our sideline reporter, Ali LaForce. This is Brian Anderson. It's the Los Angeles Clippers and the Phoenix Suns. So here's the Clippers starting group. Griffin's shot is off. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. That's to Stoudemire. Here's Chambers. Six to shoot. There's a screen. Here's Davis. Rebound by the Clippers. Here's McAdoo to the middle. Paul, and he buries his first look. Chris Paul not afraid to go inside, play amongst the trees, and still find a way to score. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's Nash. And we're about a minute into the first. Davis against Leonard. Pass to Nash. From behind the arc. He buries it from three. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Outside Paul. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Right wing. Griffin right side. That one goes. Now he's one for two. His skill at his size and then converting through contact. Such strength from the big man. Pass to Marion. This one for three. And the Suns get another three. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. Outside Paul. Here's McAdoo. All sorts of time. Connects. The jumper drops. Uh, go ahead and try to stop Kawhi Leonard, and he'll just move the ball to the open man. And here's Davis. Over Leonard. Davis misses. Pass to Paul. Leonard with the ball. The Clippers again with a bucket. I love the patience, the tactical mindset of Leonard. He's so good at picking his spots, especially on the pick and roll. Here's Nash. He's guarded by Paul. Here's Stoudemire. Tries the nine-footer. That shot off. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Here's Paul. Shot from the low post is good. Paul's got his second basket of the game. Love the deft touch from Chris Paul on the floater there. His timing on those shots sublime. Here's Nash. And the Suns miss again. The Clippers in the lead. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Griffin. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Blake Griffin right now working the inside game and has the skills to take you to school. Up top, Davis. Pass to Marion. Back to Davis. To halt the run. The shot that time, not on target. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Now Paul. Here's McAdoo. Pass to Griffin. Takes one from 10 feet. Misses off the right iron. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Davis can't hit. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Leonard for three. It's hauled in by Nash. The Suns trailing. To the paint. Here's Chambers. Griffin pulls down the board. 
to the inside. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Griffin. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. Here's Nash. Phoenix time calls out, time timeout. Out. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. from the free throw line. Had he play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Los Angeles. Well, great play down low. I mean, you expect the defense to adjust, collapse maybe, but that should open up things on the perimeter later in the game. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. And that's good as he hits both shots. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line. And when he's on, he can be lights out. Here's a three from Paul. Knocks down the long J. Paul's got seven. The defenses cannot let his range go unchallenged when CP3 gets it going from there. Now Davis. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Marion. Shot clock at six. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Outside Paul. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by Marion. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Here's Chambers. They get a hand on it. Here's Brand. Leonard outside. Inside. McAdoo. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. And the Suns with possession. Nine point game. Now here's Davis. Pass to Chambers. Here's Nash. From downtown. That one misses. He's one for three. Here's McAdoo. Here's Paul. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Here's Nash. Five points in the game. Davis misses. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. And Paul gets it to go. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Phoenix calls timeout.
And so here's Phoenix, trailing by 13. Outside Johnson. And the layup is good off the glass. Getting the ball inside, usually a pretty good recipe. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 19-7 run. Here's Free. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Well, DeAndre Jordan dominates this game on both ends around the glass. Here's Johnson. Pass to Marion. The free ball. Fires in the triple. He's got six. Nice delivery there. You can't hesitate when a man comes free on the perimeter. He got it. Went right into the shot. Leonard with the ball. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. With those long arms and with the high release point, Leonard is practically daring you to foul him. Shooting for the Clippers, Kawhi Leonard taking two shots. First one falls for him. With Kawhi, it's, it's not about really so much improvement as it is refining his game. And he's now hitting around 90% of his free throws. That's just remarkable stuff. And Leonard drops them both. And it's the Suns with the ball. A 12-point game. Outside Johnson, out to the right wing. Here's Stoudemire, and that one hits the back iron. Well, he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. Here's Free, pass to Manning. Now here's Jordan. And he lobs it up to the rim. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Marley. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's Johnson. He got a piece of it. Here's Free, covered by Johnson. It's good. Will be free. And Los Angeles leads by 14. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. The shot by Stoudemire, no good. Here's Brand. Pass to Jordan. Now Leonard. 4-3. Rebounded by Johnson. There's a minute 54 left to play in the first. There's a screen. Blocked! And it's out of bounds. Still Phoenix's ball. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. The Clippers making a switch here. Harper's checked in. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Marley from outside the arc. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. And here's Jordan. A minute 22 left in the first quarter. Three. There's the block. Here's Chambers. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Damn, that one's good. That's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Here's Free. Leading by 12. 
Pass to Brand. Pulls it from the corner. Rebounded by Johnson. A defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. They set a pick. On the take. Oh, he Ooh. took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Second team foul. At the line for Phoenix, Dennis Johnson. Two shots. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Johnson. Devin Booker, he's checked in for the Suns. And Johnson drops them both. 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to free. Here's McGetty to the wing on the left. Fades and shoots. Here's Jordan. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Jordan's got his second basket on the night. I love the confidence from Jordan. All of his shots are going to come from the paint, so he should be confident, and he's got the ball there. Outside Booker. Three-pointer. That one no good. Oh, what a performance by Chris Paul. He's been the story for Los Angeles. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. We'll be right back after this word. And please give a big round of applause for your son, you can see. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Clippers team out there. Well, you have to credit their effort on the defensive end. It set the tone for this contest. That yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. Here's Nash. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Clock at six. Goes up from the top of the key. And it's Van Arsdale missing. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. And so in the game for Los Angeles. And Paul gets it to go. Love seeing CP3 shoot from there. He just owns that area of the floor. One of the best jumpers in the history of the game. It's Booker on the wing. Hits a three-pointer. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. Here's Paul. Here's McAdoo. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. He has six. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And here in the second, with about a minute and a half gone by, drives to the hoop. Pass to Maggetti. Five on the clock. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. The offensive rebound. Outside Paul. 
Let's the three fly. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Yeah, there's a dependability when Chris Paul needs to get the scoring going. He's still capable of doing that. Out to the right wing, Van Arsdale. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's foul number two for him. Leonard's checked in for Harper. Substitution on the court. It's been all Clippers. A 17-point lead, their biggest. Down low. Here's Leonard. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Leonard's got six. Chris Paul came into the league playing unselfish, continues to do so. What a dime. They need this. And the basket by Nash. Ooh, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. Pass to Leonard. Shoots over Davis. Again, the Clippers score. Why operating in the painted area so tough to stop. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. Leonard's gotten three of his five to go tonight. Here's Nash. He's guarded by Paul. Pass to Stoudemire. The jump hook. The shot, no good. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. Griffin against Davis. Now here's Paul. Let's go with a three. The Clippers hit again from deep. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Now the Clippers with it. They're on a 15 to 5 run. Leonard passes to Paul. And here's Griffin. Fades. And he can't bank that one in. Davis with it. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Stoudemire. And stolen by Paul. Here's McAdoo. To the left side wing. Three-pointer. They get it back. Another shot. And it's good on the layup give him eight points now like a matador ole there was no defense that has to be one of the easier shots i've seen tonight yeah it feels like christmas right now just gift wrapping points and the basket by nash easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen and the coach over there just asking for one simple thing and that's some effort got burned on that one pass to brand to the wing right side Griffin right side. Six on the shot clock. Shoots from 14. Good. He hits the jumper. Leonard's got 10 points. Kawhi Leonard keeping the game very simple and just taking what the defense is gifting him. Pass to Marion. Here's Stoudemire. Clippers oh. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Phoenix, Amare Stoudemire taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one.
good on the second one. It's been all Clippers. Pass to Brand. Back to Leonard. Again, the Clippers score. Well, he's made himself into such a reliable scorer. Hard not to call Leonard's number as often as possible. Here's Marion. Six to shoot. Here's Van Arsdale. Tipped. And it's the Clippers on the break. And the finish on the break with the slam. That was execution to perfection. Textbook transition offense. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. And the Suns miss again. Pass to Paul. Here's McAdoo. Leonard with the ball. Elbow shot. The rebound by Westfall. Pass to Nash. From the arc. Marion misses. Now Los Angeles with it. Griffin passes to Paul. Here's Brand. Back to Paul. Gets it to go. He's now 9 for 11 on the night. So far, he's a can't-miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Leonard passes to Paul. Back to Leonard. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Leonard looking to score. It's going to make defenders nervous. And that's why he got the foul that time. Two shots. Free throw drops for Leonard. And Leonard drops them both. And here's Johnson. They set the screen. Pass to Marley. Looking to end the drought. It's not going to go for him. And the Clippers will come the other way. Now Leonard. He's got 14. Here's Free. He takes it in. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Third team foul. Shooting for the Clippers. World be free. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Here's Johnson. Pass to Marion. Here's Stoudemire. To the paint. Shot clock at six. Here's the floater. It's tipped. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Both teams deciding to change it up. Oh. 
Just two to shoot. And the Suns miss again. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. And the Clippers making a change here. Fourth team foul. Substitution on the court. Here's Nixon. Shoots over Johnson. Pass to free. Second chance shot. And the layup is up and in. He has six. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Now here's Johnson. Marley. Off the mark, and the drought continues. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Pass to Nader. Johnson against Jordan. Uneasy two on the layup. Jordan's got six points. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. They set the pick. Here's Stoudemire. And down it goes. Jam that one home. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Here's Free. Six points for him. Here's Marley. Pass to Johnson. A step back shot. He can't hit that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. A minute 58 left to play in the half. Here's Free. Rebound by Stoudemire. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. He makes the D look silly. <laughs> what an incredible move. Man, how about that finish right there? Not too bad. Here's Free. Drills it from deep. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Johnson with it. Jordan picks him up. Here's Stoudemire. Oh, Jordan with the block. And Jordan, a defensive stalwart, crushing the opposition with his shot blocking. 107 left to play in the first half. The three is up. The Suns clear it. Inside. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Getting up and then throwing it down. Oh, that was a big hammer right there. Here's Nixon. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Clock at four. A little mid-range shot is up. Second shot opportunity. And that's two points on the layup. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Marley. Fires the three. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Nixon. To the inside. Boom! He jams it straight down. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. The Clippers on top, just dominating this one. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute.
one with a big gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Chris Paul having a dominant impact in this game. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And the Suns with possession. Pass to Chambers. Here's Nash. He's guarded by Paul. Here's Stoudemire to the middle. Paul with a steal. And for the Clippers, DeAndre Jordan is out there with Griffin. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Chris Paul. And just staying in control. This is Griffin's mindset, keeping his balance even when the D is present. Denied by Leonard. Griffin in the post, Davis on him, 13 feet out. And the Clippers again with a bucket. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Now here's Davis. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And yep, it's good. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through their high basketball IQ play. Amari Steinberg. Third personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard. Two shots. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Leonard. And Leonard drops them both. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Here's Davis. No good off the glass. And so here are the Clippers. Pass to Paul. Leonard with the ball. Checked by Davis. He tries for three. And the Clippers miss again. Over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. Throw it down on the lob. Gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. Leonard outside. And there's the screen. Deflected! Here's Chambers, defended by Griffin. From down low. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Blake Griffin picks one up. At the line for your sons, Tom Chambers. At the line for two. Two. And he drops the first. And so he makes both from the line. Now here's Leonard. 16 points for him. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Second personal foul. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. At the line for the Clippers, Kawhi Leonard taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. Right. 
And the free throw drops for Leonard. And Leonard drops them both. And so here's Phoenix. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. Pass to Stoudemire. From 11 feet away, it's hauled in by the Clippers. Griffin's got five rebounds tonight. Outside Paul. Back to Griffin. And there's the lob. Yeah, you don't want to leave people open when Blake Griffin has vision of the floor. He exploited the hole in the defense that time. Let's it go from deep. Nash misses. He's got a nice feel for that crossover, but you still have to finish. Paul passes to Leonard. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Griffin. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Griffin staying strong down low. Even when he knows the hit is coming, great concentration and toughness shown there. At the line for two. Shooting two. First one falls. Traditionally, we talk about power forwards. I mean, is that not Blake Griffin? It applies to every facet of his game. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Third quarter action, and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Pass to Stoudemire. Here's Nash. Here's the pick. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Blake Griffin picks one up. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Steve Nash. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Both good from the line that time. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Paul finds Leonard. Get to the block, Brand. Griffin, a screen on Davis. Shoots from 14. Up again. Leonard passes to Griffin. Tries yet again. Can't hit that one. The Suns go the other way with it. Here's Chambers. Pass to Marion. Here's Stoudemire. He's guarded by Paul. Here's Stoudemire. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He has seven. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. Paul passes to Leonard. The kick out to Paul. Screen by Griffin. Jacks up a three. No good that time. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Pass to Nash. And there's the drive. And it's blocked. He keeps control of the ball. Griffin outside. Let's it go from 11. And Griffin slams it in. Yeah, and that kind of activity helps Griffin to do so much more 
in this game, he's been tireless. Got a piece of it. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. Here we go. Here's Leonard. And the dunk by Leonard. And I think that play tells you everything you need to know. They're simply playing at a higher level, getting a steal and turning it into quick points. Here's Nash. He's got 12. Second chance effort. And he sinks the layup. That's a testament to the effort there on the boards. Never willing to give up on the possession. Finding ways to sniff out the ball. Pass to Leonard. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Three-point field goal. Paul's got six assists here tonight. A consistent shooter from all three levels. Why Leonard the first option they typically look for, and for very good reason. And not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. Pass to Nash. Here's Chambers. Good work defensively by Leonard. Into the lane. Nice shot there, making him eight for 13. Kawhi playing at his own pace. He can really control the game off the bounce. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. And you know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. Now here's Davis. Phoenix no good that time either. Griffin outside. Rebounded by Marion. And here are the Suns now. Pass to Nash. They swipe it. And it's the Clippers on the break. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. Yeah, all game long, they had great energy, leading to ample second-chance opportunities, and they converted. Man, scoring off of turnovers is, is so helpful. I mean, you get easy opportunities at the rim. It devastates the opponent. They've done a great job tonight at converting on those chances. He misses the free throw, and the Clippers making a change here. And the second free throw is good. And their biggest problem so far, taking care of the ball. Yeah, they made some great plays, but way too many turnovers. Here's Chambers. There's a screen. Takes the three. Here's Marion. That one doesn't drop. Oh, solid D from Leonard. And here are the Clippers now. They're on a 16-6 run. Here's Harper. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Leonard on the wing. Here's the three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Pass to Johnson. Here's Scott. Intercepted! Here's McAdoo. He's got 13. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Now here's Johnson to the inside. Here's Scott. Six to shoot. Pass to Marion. The three. Harper pulls it in. Here's McAdoo. And a nice finish on the layup. He's got 17. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. Pass to Van Arsdale. 
Off target from three-point range. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Leonard outside. Here's McGetty. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. There's the triple. That shot, no good. And Phoenix the other way now. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's Scott. Leonard defending. Pass to Van Arsdale. Will it go? Rebounded by Kamen. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Now here's Johnson. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Pass to Chambers. Banked it in off the glass. I don't know if you would consider this, but he's got such a nice touch around the rim. Maybe you foul him there? Pulls up, high post. McKetty with a bucket. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now here's Johnson. Goes up on the baseline. The shot, no good. Here's McAdoo. Pass to Harper. One fourteen left in the third quarter here. To the paint. McAdoo. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. Well, Leonard drawing all the attention there. That's opening up some passing lanes, and guys are finding seams. Johnson. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Johnson's got six points. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. Here's McAdoo. Out to Leonard. Again, the Clippers score. That's why Leonard's game is just so special. He's so talented at getting to his spots, doing it with patience and poise, and capitalizing. Now here's Johnson. He has six. Here's Van Arsdale. Offline with a three. Now the Clippers with it. Leonard with the ball. 27 points for him. Pass to Harper. Launches it. McGetty with a bucket. He's got five. Now he shot a lower than average volume here tonight, but his efficiency doing it has helped the team build the lead. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. The Clippers on top, running away with it. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Now, the passing for the team becoming contagious, this time involving the big. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Here's Nixon. Pass to free. Misses from short range. Phoenix with the ball. And for the Clippers. Here's Kidd. Here's Stoudemire. Booker with it. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Defense tends to overcommit just because Booker's such a great offensive threat. That time he used it to his advantage. At the line for Phoenix, Devin Booker taking two shots.
First free throw is good. And Booker just one of these guys who's calculating on the offensive end. He's trying to figure out what defenses are doing. He's always working hard to find shots and he's going to influence the game with the way he can produce. Here's free. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. Shooting for the Clippers. World be free at the line for two. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. He's perfect from the line this time. And here's Booker. And the step back jumper is good. How smooth is Devin Booker's J right there. And inside the arc, he nails it. Out left to the wing. Here's McGetty. Misses off the left iron. And it's Phoenix's ball. Here's Kidd. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Using his speed advantage to create the separation he needs for the shot. Second team foul. At the line for Phoenix, Jason Kidd. At the line for one. Nixon. Pass to Manning. Here's free. Just five to shoot. Goes back up. And he takes it up and lays it in. And there he is. I mean, attacking the boards, converting off the misses. I mean, trying to do everything he can to secure this W. I just don't see how you climb back into the game when you're allowing plays like that to happen. Extra work on the offensive glass. Here's Manning. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for the Clippers. Danny Manning taking two shots. Shooting two. And he makes a first. And good on the second, so he makes them both. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Now Booker. From the elbow, count it. Booker's got six in the quarter. Now that's what he does. Devin Booker with a beautiful shot there. Here's free. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. And let's face it, they won't get back in the game with fouls like that. Here's free. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. 
And it's going to go on Devin Booker. First free throw is good. Shooting for the Clippers. World be free. At the line for two. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Kidd. Yeah, watch Kidd, watch Kidd. Pass to Marley. Takes a three. The shot comes out. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Here's Nader. Here he goes. And the shot goes down. And we may have an injury here. That does not look good. Uh, and hopefully it's not as bad as it looks. That would be a big blow for them. Well, looking at his face right there, you can tell he's in a lot of pain, and there's a lot of trepidation right now on that team's sideline. And the Suns making a change here. Paul Westfall. And Phoenix has possession. Pass to Chambers. Now here's Booker. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Well, as a young, dynamic scorer, Devin Booker knows how to get his way against most defenders in the league. At the line for two. First one falls for him. Good on both. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Has to free. Here's Nader. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. And the Suns miss again. And so here are the Clippers. Here's Free. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Can't cash it in from close range. Here's Booker. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Booker is good at knowing when to shoot the ball when he gets that kind of room. He's not going to hesitate. Here's Nixon. Pass to Manning. Clock at six. Here's Free. Give him that one. Now shooting five for 11 from the floor. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. Here's Kidd. Over to the wing. Fires the three. Oh, target from range. Yeah, so reliable. He clearly needs to be more involved in the offense as they try to shrink this lead. Here's Nixon. Pass to Nader. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Here's Westfall. High arcing shot. Here's Marley. Here's Chambers. And another basket for Phoenix. Coach is loving the ball movement. Here's Nixon. And he lobs it up top. And stolen by Booker. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Chambers. Yes, and it's Booker with the setup. Booker more and more becoming a double threat, not just to score the ball, but starting to realize he can set up his teammates. To the right side. Here's Manning. Pass to Maggetti. There's the three. And he can't get that one. And Phoenix the other way now. Down low. Here's Chambers. It's blocked. And it's the Clippers on the break.
At the line for the Clippers, Corey Maggette, two shots. Shooting two. And he drops the first. And the Suns making a change here. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Westfall. Pass to Marley. It's Booker on the wing. Shot clock at five. Fourth personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for your sons, Devin Booker. Two shots. That free throw good from Booker. Both free throws good from Booker. A chance to get a quick injury report. Guys, I was able to talk with Phoenix head athletic trainer about the status. He said it's a sprained wrist. Doesn't look like any torn ligaments, but considerable pain and swelling. While not severe, this is still a serious diagnosis that usually keeps guys off the court for a short period. Back to you. Well, and Ali, it appears that he needs some work done before he comes back to this one. And we all know that if it's something he can play through, he'll be back, no doubt. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. Chalk up two there. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now Los Angeles with it. It's hauled in by Marley. Pass to Marion. It's deflected. Here's Nixon. The teardrop. And he lays it in. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Outside Booker. And he buries that one. Back rim it in. This isn't all that surprising. Remember, Devin Booker once put 70 up in an NBA contest. Here's Nixon. Pass to Maggette. Fires for three. Chambers grabs the miss. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And here's Booker. And Booker with the jam. Now he really gets up there. I mean, Devin Booker will surprise you. And throw it down. Here's Nixon. And there's a pick. Out to the wing. Just five on the clock. And a two-handed jam! He throws it down with two hands. You know he won't mess that up. Not this guy. He is a big-time finisher. Pass to Marley. The three. Another three for Phoenix. You gotta try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Here's McGetty. Launches a three. Chambers grabs the miss.
Pass to Marley. Now here's Booker. Plenty of space. That one rolls around and rims out. Inside. And he dunks it down. Great job setting him up. The timing of the pass was key. Here's Westfall. Down low. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. Booker's got 18 points now here in the second half. Doing most of his damage on the perimeter. That time, Devin Booker showing he could score close to the rim. Hook loose to the wing, right side. Here's McGetty. Here's Kamen. Basket counts. There's just no reason to give him inside position. Yeah, when he's this close to the basket, it's, it's a wrap. Pass to Marley. Suns getting another bucket right there. 149 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Nixon. Here's Nader. The jump hook. Rebounded by Marion. The Suns on offense. Pass to Chambers. Outside Booker. Here's Westfall. The three is up. Not going to go that time. A minute six left in the fourth quarter. Here's Harper. They set the pick. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Third personal foul. Team is in the penalty. Shooting for the Clippers. Ron Harper at the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And the Suns making a change here. Scott's checked in. And he sinks the second. 56 seconds left in the game. Pass to Chambers. Here's Marley. Here's the pick. For three. That shot off the mark. And the Clippers have possession. Here's Nixon. Here's McGetty. Sinks the tray. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Pass to Chambers. Two points. That one goes. Woo. Just selling the defense on the pump fake. Here's Harper. So no problem for the Clippers as they get the win. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. But as we go, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game.